Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you how to knit a very simple hat in rounds on circular needles. I will be knitting this hat for a baby for the size 40-42 cm. It will be a hat for a spring season and I will use cotton yarn Begonia from Yarn Art 169 meters in 50 grams 40 centimeters circular needle size 3.5 millimeters yarn needle scissors and measuring tape I will be knitting these two strands together that's why I have uh, two balls of yarn prepared I already made this swatch in this swatch I have uh, 10 loops and uh, it is 4.5 centimeters wide. Now I need to find out how many loops I have in one centimeter and multiply that number by 42 because 42 is the size of the hat that I will need. So to find out how many loops I have in one centimeter, I simply divide 10, that's the number of the loops, by 4.5 that the uh, width uh, of the swatch. I got the number 2.22 and I multiplied by 42 uh, and um, I got the number 93 but I can't use 93 because I need for the head the number of loops that can be easily divided by 4. That's why I decided to subtract one loop and stick to number 92. So to start the knitting I have to cast on 92 loops on my needles. I finished casting on 92 loops and now I have to join the knitting in a round. I already spread my loops on the needles and to join my knitting I have to add one more loop. With that loop I will be attaching one side with the other one. So just in a regular way, I am casting on one extra loop and with this extra loop, I will place it on the uh, left needle and I have uh, to take first loop from the uh, left needle through this extra loop. It's a little tricky right now because everything is a little tight and because uh, I have uh, not as many loops on the needles and that's why it's a little tight. But basically I'm taking this very first loop and this is the loose one, it's uh, my extra loop. I am gently just taking my first loop. I am removing this uh, extra loop from the left needle and I will tighten it using both strings of the yarn like that and I will tie it really really nicely so that's how I joined my knitting now I have to put back my very first loop and I will continue knitting starting with this first loop That's my main uh, yarn here. I will put it in front of my knitting. And I will continue just knitting in a round. And I will be making all needs in a round. First row will be a little tricky because it is a little tight and it might 
took a little longer than other rolls to knit it. I will continue and meet you when I'm gonna be at the end of the first row. I am back at the beginning of the knitting and so that's how it looks. This is our joining and I hope that it's not gonna be as noticeable when the work is done. Now I have to continue knitting for the lens that I need for the head and uh, I won't switch to any other patterns. I will be just knitting all knits in rounds. I finished knitting the length of a hat. I have here 14 centimeters. And now it's time to make decreases. I have 92 loops in my knitting right now. And I divided this number by four and placed my markers where I want my decreases to be. So in each part I have 23 loops. That's why I needed the numbers. It's easily divided by four. Also, I want to mention that right now I'm at the beginning of a new round and I placed my first two markers. That's going to be our back part of the hat. Uh, and I placed them uh, 12 loops from the beginning on this side and 11 loops on this side because I want... Uh, uh, this part where we joined our knitting to be at the back of our hat. I will be making one decrease before each marker and after each marker. So in one round I will be making eight decreases together. I will start with knitting this part till I have two loops till my first marker on the left. I will make one decrease then I'm gonna knit this loop and make another decrease after. I will continue knitting again till I have two loops till the next marker, make a decrease, one loop without uh, decreases and another decrease. Continue with the same for this marker and for the next one. And in the next round I will make uh, all knits without decreases. I will continue making decreases in every other round till I have eight loops on my needles. First round making decreases, knitting nine loops till I have two loops left till the first marker. With these two loops, I will be making a first decrease. First, I'm going to switch position of the loops. I will slide the first one to the right needle, then the second one. Then I'm going to bring them back to the left needle and knit them together, taking them by the back half of the loop. Sliding the marker to the right needle. Making one knit. And then another decrease. So for this decrease, I will knit the first loop. I will bring it back uh, to the left needle. And then I'm going to place my next loop over the first one. And then I'm going to take this loop to the right needle. That's my second decrease. 
Continue knitting until I have uh, two loops left till my next marker. Now I will repeat in the same way my first decrease. So I will slide these loops to the right needle, both of them. Then I'm going to bring them back to the left needle and I will need them taking them back the back half of the loop. Sliding the marker, making one knit. And that's going to be our another decrease. So knitting the first loop, placing this loop back on the left needle and over this loop I will place next one like that. And take this loop to the right needle. That's our next decrease. Continue knitting until we have again uh, two loops left till our next marker. Next decrease. So again, sliding first loop, second one, bringing them back and knitting them together by the back half of the loop. Marker on the right needle making one knit and they're going to be our next decrease. So knitting one, putting it back on the left needle and placing over next loop. Again, continue knitting till we have uh, two loops left till our next marker. And one more time with one more decrease in this round. So placing one loop on the right needle without knitting another one, placing them back on the left needle and knitting these two loops together by the back half of the loop. Marker, knitting one loop and another decrease. So knitting this first loop, placing it back on the left needle and placing over this loop the next one. Continue knitting till the end of our round. So that was our first round with decreases. We made eight decreases. On each side of the marker, we were making decrease in one way. So those we have uh, for the same decreases that we made on this side. And uh, after our marker, we made another decrease. That's gonna be one decrease on each side and overall eight decreases. Next round, uh, I will knit without any decreases. I finished knitting one round without decreases. That's how our places with decreases looks like. And now I will continue with uh, making decreases uh, um, besides uh, the markers before and after till I have 12 loops left on my needles. I will be making the same decreases as I did in the first round.
my head is almost done I finished making decreases and overall I needed uh, 20 rounds 10 of these rounds were with decreases and 10 without decreases I have right now 12 loops on my needles and I finished with the round without decreases. To finish the knitting, I will leave about 20-25 centimeters of yarn. That's going to be my end. I will take the needle. And using the needle, I'm going to close this uh, knitting with the needle so i put all the loops on one needle uh, my yarn is on this side so it's opposite side that's where i finished knitting and i'm gonna start taking the loops uh, on the needle uh, from this side and i will be sliding loops on this uh, uh, needle uh, just the way uh, I would need them and just one by one I'm taking loops on the needle until I have all of them, all 12 of them on the needle and uh, on the yarn. And I'm just gonna Put this end of the yarn through all the loops that I have. I will also adjust a little bit my loop, this the last loop that was uh, on the needle, I will adjust a little bit. And I will tie everything here. I will go over these loops uh, one time or maybe I'm gonna do one more let's see so I will start with the first so I will go in every loop here and go around I'm doing that just to secure the knitting Let's see. Yeah, I want to do one more time. So overall, I will do it three times. So that's going to be my short time. So that's what I have for the end of the knitting. Now I'm going to take this end of the yarn to the other side. And I will secure this end of the yarn on this side and cut the yarn. Before cutting the yarn, I'm just gonna take a look on the right side of the work, make sure that I like everything here. All good. So now I can cut the yarn. Just 
just like that. Now I will be decorating the hat. I also want to tell you that I washed this hat by hand with a little shampoo. I dried it uh, in a towel and I also ironed it uh, through the cheesecloth. That's how I prepared the hat for the decor. I will be decorating the hat with little balls that I made. They're gonna look like that. And I'm gonna place them where I have right now my markers. So overall I have 12 markers on my hat. And I put them, if you can count uh, from the top. So first uh, four markers are uh, right at the beginning of our decreases in this uh, row where we have this little thing. So one, two, three, four. Uh, next row, middle one, that's going to be somewhere in the middle of our, this part, like four parts. So this part, in the middle of the next one, on this side too, and at the back as well, right here. And uh, our last row, that's going to be exactly the position of our first row. That's where I would like my little balls to be. I will need to make 12 little balls like this one. For that, I'm going to use one string of the yarn. Had I was knitting with two, but for the balls, I will use only one because I would like my balls to be a little smaller. Tapestry needle and the same pair of needles that I was using to knit the hat. I will leave short end of the yarn. Not too long, but I will leave some. And I'm going to make one loop. Not too tight. It's going to be loose, like that. And now I have to knit six loops through this one loop. So first I'm going to make one taking it by the back half of the loop. Then I'm going to need another one taking it by the front half of the loop. Again, back, front, and again, back, and again, front. So now I have six loops on the needle. I'm going to turn the work and I'm going to start knitting all knits. First loop I'm going to slide to the right needle without knitting it. And now I'm going to knit uh, four loops with knits. And the last one I'm going to purl. Turn and work on the other side. In this row, uh, I'm going to purl all loops. First loop without knitting, sliding it to the right needle and continue purling. So I'm going to purl five next loops. Again, turn and work on the other side. Another row of uh, knits. Uh, first loop sliding, not knitting. And the last loop purling. Turn and work to the other side. And purling all loops. First sliding, and 
throw it into the work. So it's going to be row number five, all meets. And last one pearl. Turning the work to the other side. And purling all loops. That's going to be our last row. So our knitting is done. I'm going to leave short end of the yarn and cut the yarn. Now I will need tapestry needle. So on this side where I have uh, my loops, I'm just going to put tapestry needle to this end. Now I'm going to slide all my loops to the other needle. Turn my work. And now I'm going to slide all loops to the tapestry needle. So my uh, yarn is here and I'm going to start taking loops from this side. So all loops are here and I'm just going to take the yarn through all the loops and tighten it. Now go into this side and taking this half of the loops to the needle. One, two, three, four, on this side as well, five, and one more that's going to be in the middle where we have this end of the yarn. Leaving this end like that. And I'm going to take the other end of the yarn that's that we started with, with this end. Also use tapestry needle. And I will go on this side, taking half of the loops to the needle and going uh, right in this part where we ended our knitting. So again, one, two, three, four, five, and in the middle, six. Now on both sides of the knitting we have uh, our uh, ends of the yarn and now I'm just going to tighten them like that and we already have our ball here. Just to finish it I'm going to make one knot, like that. And that's it. I will have to make 12 of those little balls. Now I will show you how to attach this little ball to the head. In our ball we have uh, two strings of yarn, two ends of the yarn. We're gonna attach it to this place. So I'm going to take one end of the yarn and use the needle. I will take this marker and uh, I'm just going to place my needle on this side. So I'm going to go around this uh, uh, little string of yarn, but I'm going on inside. 
from this side, taking their marker, so one string of yarn is there, now the other string, so I'm going on this side and this string of yarn is going to be in the middle of these bows. I'm gonna go on inside. Here you should see how this string of the yarn and this loop is between these two strings of yarn. Now I'm just simply gonna make a knot. And I will bring these two uh, strings of yarn uh, to the front side. So first one. And then the other one. And on the front side, I will take these two strings together, put them through the needle, and with the needle, I'm gonna go inside this little bowl. Now I'm gonna make two knots with just two pieces of yarn. I can cut the yarn and ends gonna hide inside. Just like that. So in that way I attach this little ball, but there is no string anywhere or any other attachment than just a little mark here. And you can barely see that. So that's how our ball is going to look on our hat. I'm going to show you on the other one. So again, this little ball. Picking one string. Going on top here. And inside. With the other string. Going on the other side. Removing the marker, going to the back side, making a knot, bringing strings one at a time.
on the front side taking both these strings together and with the needle taking these strings inside this little bowl Now tighten it, make a couple of loop, couple of knots. And cut in the yarn. Now we can hide these little ends inside the ball I will continue with the rest of the balls and lastly I will hide this end of the yarn in the knitting I have two strings here so I'm gonna use each string separately and hide it in the knitting And cut the yarn. I will do the same with the other end. And cut the yarn when done. And the hat is done now and it's ready to be worn. This is how our pompons or our little balls looks on the hat with the front of the hat. Here is the other side where we started our knitting that's how it looks here let's take a look at the inside inside everything looks really neat no ends of the yarn everything is hidden in the knitting we can barely see where we attached our little balls to the hat so no ends of the yarn, no knots. The hat is really stretchy. Thank you for watching, good luck with your projects and I hope to see you in the next videos.